I gotta get this camera right. Man, I am kind of big in that thing. What's up, guys? No one's in here yet. That's pretty cool because I'm still trying to get myself together. You know, I'm, I am. I'm always last minute and stuff. Last minute. Woo! What's good, Dean? Let's see. Friday night. It is raining outside. Back in the garage tonight. House is still under construction. And it's it's kind of humid in here right now. I ain't going to lie. I could use a fan in here. What's up, Swelled Up? All right. All right. Let me... My little makeshift studio got all, got all messed up and pushed around as I'm bringing more stuff in here out of the kitchen. What's good, Zach? Y'all come in. If you could smack that like button for me, so you can probably get a few more people in here. I'm not going to, damn, I can't get this thing to stay still. I'm not going to be in here for a long time. I just, uh, <laughs> my, uh, my stand here needs a Viagra because it keeps going limp. I just want to talk about some shoes that I got this week and uh, see what you guys thinking about next pickups. All right. How's that, guys? Is that good? Let's see. If this thing is just stopped leaning on me. All right. All right. I think that's better. Let me see if I can do something so I don't have to squint so much. Let's zoom in, old man. Zoom. Let's zoom it to to one fifty percent so I can see this chat without glasses. What's up, y'all? What's up? The hairs. Yeah, I want to talk about the hairs. The hairs. Um. I, I hate that people are like starting to talk about them because if y'all go back, I remember I said that um, that was one of the shoes that I really like. I liked the hairs over the the Jordan Five Fire Reds, and people said I was crazy, but I do. I just like the hairs. I think they're. I like the the color. I think it's a nice bright color. I can. It's wearable. It's not too crazy. It's got just the, the, enough crazy in it. Um, that I would wear them all the time. And that's what I want. I want shoes that I wear all the time. So I, I'm looking forward to the hairs. I always was looking forward to the hairs. It's like the, uh, to me, it's like um, those winter fours. When I first saw them, I was like, oh, I want those. And when I did, when they came out, I went out and bought them. I don't even care if they were, they're still on sale now, but I wanted them the day they came out because I knew I would wear them. Same thing with the hairs. And I don't know if they're going to be limited. They're, it's like full size, full family run, but they just got pushed back, and I'm kind of upset that they got pushed back. I was excited to get them this week. And uh, I think they released, they did release early, but I think it got cancellation that they were still releasing on NBA, NBA website, and Snipes. And uh, I was on there as soon as, as it released, and they both released not in stock or out of stock. So I think it was just a glitch. And you see the field, you won three raffles. They got pushed back. A couple foot sites dropped today, sold out quick. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think a few people got cancelizations or they couldn't check out at all. But uh, I think uh, there were some overseas sites that um that also released and they, they were legit. Like you can actually, you're actually gonna get those pairs. But uh, what's up, sneaker techs? 
But yeah, the uh, the hairs. I like the hairs. And I just I just hope they don't become like a hype shoe and become hard to get. Which is everything is hard to get these days in the world of of the uh, the corona and just online. Online is difficult. I'm not used to this. I never copped. You know, going back last year or so when I got all my sneakers, majority of them were not online. I'm a I'm an in person store to store, mall to mall, hitting up three malls, four malls in a day, type copper. That's me. I'm a I'm a mobile shopper copper. <laughs> I physically get my shoes. You go look at all my videos from like last year. You know, I did videos the day of the release with multiple pairs. That's how I did it. I picked up. I I wasn't one that that did this online thing, and it's 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 quite a, a learning lesson here. But, you know, I'm able to cop a couple pairs, but I, usually I didn't even try for online. I would do sneakers, and that was it. I, w- I would never try for locker foot action in all those places, you know, if it outside of the reservation. If it wasn't the reservation, I wasn't trying to go in at 10 o'clock on, on that day and try to cop pairs. No, I, I was not trying to do that. So I, I left it. Well, it looks like I'm timing out here. I'm pretty sure it's not timing out for you guys, but on my screen, it's giving me the circle of death. All right, we're back. But, yeah, so it, it's... It's a little different for me right now. I, I can't cop enough sneakers to pay for the, my personal pairs, which is the way I've been able to do it for the last two years. And I like it like that. I pay for, you know, I pay for my personal pair. Like all my sneakers pretty much were paid for by selling other sneakers. And now these days, it's not the same. I'm getting a little discount from selling maybe one or two extra pair I might be able to grab. But but for the most part, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, it's starting to, it's starting to come out of my pocket. <laughs> out of my money for my own personal pairs, and that's why I gotta be a little bit more selective and only grabbing things that I'm that I'm gonna put the foot, and not things that are just gonna sit in the closet. Um, but yeah, I don't know why my car is so, this so damn dirty. I just washed it like a week ago or two, two weeks ago, and haven't taken it out. It's all dusty and it's irritating. I need to put a car cover on it. I hate having a black one out here, guys. What's going? Is my live stream like smooth or is it is it like going in and out? Let me know, cause uh. You know what? Oh, you know what? Hold on. I might be on. Um, go oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Let me know if it's back. All right. I, I, I'm filming with my phone, of course. I do live with my phone. And I just switched over to LTE. It was on Wi-Fi. I think LTE is always better in this house than the Wi-Fi is, even though I pay for like the best Wi-Fi. But let me know if it's if it's uh, glitchy now. Um, should be good. So let me see what y'all guys are saying. All right. Uh, I was in, didn't win. They pushed back. Yep. Yeah, the bots are taking the majority of the stock. Yeah, that's what I heard. Though the bots are are, are where it's at. Um, it sucks because I'm just not about that bot life. I, I'm just I can't I can't even start that whole thing, man. And it's just too much. And, and the way I work is I get obsessed into things, and I can see if I get a bot, I'll be consumed in it. <laughs> you know that that'll be all I'll be thinking about. I'll be on the botting forums, and I I just can't get another obsession. I mean, I got the cars, sneakers, guns, now housing stuff. I can't throw bots into the mix. I'm just be. I mean, I'm pulling in all different directions. So I'm just gonna stick to what I'm doing. If I get it through the regular manual process, I will. And I just gotta learn to stop, start taking L's. Um, but I won't be taking an L on one shoe. Remember, I told you guys. I said I will get them chunky dungies regardless, and they are coming. I don't know how long, but it is confirmed. Your boy will have a pair of chunky donkeys um, here. And I ain't playing. I told you guys I'm going to have it. And then we're going to do a nice little review. Nice little review. And then I'm going to lace them up and put them straight to foot and do what a lot of people can't even do because they're afraid to, to, to um, I guess, to ruin the value of them. But I won't care because I ain't got much money into them. And I'm going to go out and do what I want to do with them, which is uh, rock them bad boys. So uh, look for a review coming soon maybe in a month or so hopefully less but we'll say at the most four weeks maybe two <laughs> but it is confirmed so 
because I am your boy ain't crazy. I ain't spending seventeen hundred dollars for no sneaker that I'm gonna put on foot to walk around here in malls and stuff. Makes no sense. And I'm not gonna go without just because some people are hoarding it and want some crazy amount of money for it. No way. No way. Your boy will still rock them. All right. I did not hit on the chunky donkeys, but if you go back to the video. It's not that long. Maybe it's a, I forget how long that video is, but I said I will get them regardless, and I'll tell you how I'm going to get them in that video. <laughs> Bro, you said I have all the best obsessions. Yeah, yeah. I got my wife. She like, she's like, you got to pick something because she says you're always all over the place. She says, I never know what's going on. I mean, in my Instagram, be crazy between cars, guns, and sneakers. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just a mess, man. A jack of all trades. I don't do anything really good, but I can do a lot of things half-assed. <laughs> oh, and customs. <laughs> I threw that in there for, for a little bit last year. Even though I'm going to bring some customs back, I did have people reach out to me recently on Twitter, and uh, I think I might turn them away because... I'll turn them off because my price is high. My price is high, higher than most people because if you ask for me to do a custom, one of the customs that I've done, like the platinum tints where I, you know, I make the white panels and all that stuff or some other things, um, you got to know that I'm doing this by hand. I'm painting with a paintbrush and it takes a lot of my time. It does. It takes a lot of time to paint those shoes by hand. I'm not, I'm not one of these people that have an airbrush set up because if they have an airbrush set up, it's a lot easier to tape up Boom, 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 boom. You know, you, you spray those things down. You keep them moving. They could knock out a shoe in probably half the time that I could painting by hand. So, unfortunately, I got to charge you for my time. My time is money. And if you want it done by me, it will be done right because I am very nitpicky and tedious with my stuff. You know, I'm going to have your shoe looking damn good. I think sometimes it even, look, even looks better than some, some of these guys that are professional customizers. But you know, that's me. I'm, I obsess over that stuff and you're paying for that. So, um, yeah, I think I turned a couple of people out. There's like, I think they're going to get it for like, you know, cheap. I'm not going to do a custom like that for $75. It's, just, it's not worth my time. Not worth it. If you come at me with double and then you'll have something. Um, but I understand if you want to go to someone else that, that can do it quicker or do it, you know, cheaper. I ain't going to say quick. Well, probably quicker too, because I, I will ask for you to give me your shoes for at least a week or two, because sometimes I have to do it at my leisure. But um, yeah, that's that's how it is. So if you ever come at me for customs, just know that you know I'm not going to be cheap. You know, I learned a long time ago that your time is valuable. That's for anybody. Your time is valuable. Never under undercut yourself. Never short yourself. Because um, if you say no, I'll use my time to do other things that can make me money or make me productive in life somehow. Uh, let me see, bro. Do you think the top, th what do you think about the top three fives? Um, I hate those. I think they, they whack. I ain't going after them at all. Only way I'll go after those is they have like resale value and I'll just pop a pair to resell. I would never wear them. We'll never wear them. I don't like the color combination, the black with the purple tongue. Uh, those are the top three fives, right? I swear to God, I think I saw them. And I just... If I'm not if I'm not interested in a shoe at all, I just turn my eyes to I don't even I'll turn my head. I don't even care about it. I don't like that top three five. I think they could have did a whole a totally different design on that. Um, so they dead me. <laughs> Unless they got resale value. Which I don't think they will, because I don't think a lot of people probably don't like them. You can't put black I, uh, what I was about to say, you can't put black, red, green, and purple together. And I, I don't know. It's just it's just not a, wear, a wearable shoe to me. Not a wearable shoe. What's up, Armando? I'm curious. What do you do for a living, bro? Bro, I, um, I am in the insurance industry. I do uh, insurance, uh, life insurance side, individual life insurance. I won't say the company I work for, but it's a pretty well-known company. I've been with them for probably longer than a lot of you guys have been living, and I am not lying about that. <laughs> I've probably a lot of you have been there a long, long-ass time. I'm a, I'm a pretty old dude, even though I probably don't look it. I'm pretty old. Um, what is up? Uh, I'm half and half. I wear the fakes. Only reason people feel some type of way is because 
they wear to impress. If you wear for you, it don't matter. Yeah, I'm wearing for me. I I I, I care less. I, I care less. I just want. I saw I saw the shoe. I said I want that shoe. I'm going to wear that shoe. And I'm not. It's not like I'm gonna be like you know what? Damn, I wish I could have bought that shoe. I ain't, I don't got a seventeen hundred dollars. I didn't hit on sne sneakers. So what? I guess I never had that shoe. No, nah, they make exact copies of that shoe, and I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm going to put it to foot. I'm going to wear it to the malls. And if, if ever, anyone ever comes up to me and asks me, which I don't even know if they would. I don't think they would because no one came up and asked me anything about the Travis Scotts. Um, but I'll be like, no, I didn't get them off of sneakers. I bought them from China. And I can care less. Um, but with the Travis Scott, I do have the real ones and I do have the, the ones that I got to beat up. <laughs> so... Uh, I could beat up a pair. Then I still got the pair sitting BS. And if a rainy day ever comes and I need to get rid of them, I get rid of them. You know, your boy ain't crazy. I'm not going to put my foot into a to a $1,700, $1,500 shoe or whatever they cost now. It, it's hard. I got I got kid in college. <laughs> I got a mortgage. I got a lot of stuff. I think sensible. Now, they look like real... Fakes, like corny, like crappy fake. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear them out. Nah, I ain't crazy. But if they look decent and like really good, no Travis Scotts are, are exactly the same. But the uh, the Chunky Donkeys, I'm pretty confident that they they got them nailed. And but we're gonna, I'll let you know if they if they don't look bad, you guys will tell me. I'm gonna do a video on it. It'll be my first video of of doing something like that. Um, but uh, yeah. So. Uh, let me see. I'll make sure I get through all your comments before I move on to my next subject. I need that plug for them flints. Oh, yeah. I think my guy got them flints, too. See, I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to be, be telling you guys all that stuff. So that's not why, why we're doing this. I buy this stuff just for my own personal. I can't be responsible for people using this for evil ways and trying to, you know, full stock X or full our fellow sneakers heads in the sneaker community. That is not what I'm trying to do. I, I get... I'm getting them just so I can wear them. And you might be doing the same, but I just don't want to be responsible for that. So that's why I'm not leaking out that information. You could do your own research like I did. I just went on and I just followed the rabbit hole and you go way down into the rabbit hole and you get from, you know, going to DH gate and just grabbing the $40 ones to way down in the rabbit hole where they be like, yeah, they got, this is, they got the plans from the original shoes like the, the 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 factory across the street from the factory that makes them is making the same damn shoe and it's they all in cohesiveness like they all working together the real factory and the other factory are all making the money together sharing the plans in this in the materials like that's what's going on y'all don't even realize like that is what's going on the only how that there's differences in some of these exact copies it's just the fact that they're just making them off a of different using different machinery because if you make enough if you make something on, on one machine even if you have the exact same plans and, and and blueprints if you're using different machinery things are going to be slightly off and those are the things those are sometimes the things that that gets caught but usually it's sometimes it's the same materials and it's the same it's the same machines and models it's just different actual machines making them I'm just saying, like, I, I I went down the rabbit hole, way down the rabbit hole, and I, I was amazed. I was amazed. But I ain't going to speak no more about that. Uh, you, can trade, you can trade for Travis's, though. The dunks are unobtainable. Yeah, they're unobtainable. So I think anybody that sees somebody with them, you're going to think you either hit on sneakers or they're fakes. So that's what people are going to think if they see me wearing them. He either hit on sneakers or they're fakes, and they'll probably just assume they're fakes which I can care less because no one's going to come up and be like, yo, Ron, you got fakes on. So, All right. And, and you know, rich people, they, uh, you see rich people, like rich people in these big houses, fancy cars, they're the most fake wearing people ever. Ever. I swear to God. I mean, I know a few wealthy people I know a few wealthy, like really wealthy people, and you'd be surprised how much of their stuff is fake. They don't spend a lot of money on like crazy obscure like things. They had those things, but they be fake, and they get the good fakes too. But they be fake, like jewelry, clothes, 
purses, accessories, a lot of their stuff be fake. And you know why? No one questions them because they see the big houses, they see the nice cars. But no, they they're some of the most fake wearing, having thing people ever. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. They can get away with it. Why would why would they spend ten thousand dollars on a on a diamond bracelet when they can get a fake one? And you're gonna think it's real just because they live in a million dollar house or you know five six seven hundred thousand dollar house and they drive a Mercedes and stuff like that. They can those are the ones they they put the they can put the most fake stuff on ever. We only question when you see you know someone in a in a two thousand dollar Honda Civic wearing something that. You know Louis Vuitton, they even all oh, that's fake and stuff. But actually, they'll be the ones that's, that's spending the money on the real stuff. It's it's totally it's crazy to me. I'm, I'm on a tangent here. I don't know how I got on this tangent. I was supposed to just show you guys <laughs> the pickups for the week, but uh, yeah, let's just get to the pickups for the week. Um, <laughs> I hit on Travis Scott 70s, but taller size. Should I <laughs> should I hold or sell? Uh, dude, you should have sold those already. If you didn't sell them, I don't even know what the prices are, but I assume that those Travis Scott uh, two seventies are probably doing something like the sixes or the fives, where it was best to sell immediately, or else you got to wait a long ass time to get your money back. How I know, I'm still sitting on a pair of of uh, grade school Travis Scott sixes because I held them a week past the time that they came out, and the price was just went in half and now i'm i'm in it for the long haul which is going to probably be i'll have those things for another year or two before they even rebound a little bit enough to get rid of them i would probably sell them now for like 400 bucks but i just gotta wait maybe maybe he'll come out with another travis got six and then the price will go up at this point they're not i don't think they're gonna go any lower but yeah you should you should have you should have sold them already if you didn't sell them now um that's my opinion what i think anyway uh and see, definitely respect that. I work for the Chinese. I got you. Wealthy are the cheapest. Smart. Yeah, right. I'm telling you. They are cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so, yeah, I was able to, uh, my last video, y'all heard that I was able to get two gray school sizes. And I double up on the size tens on Foot Locker, not Foot Locker, on Sneakers app. I got, and I'm talking about the Flints, guys. Uh, my daughter hit on her account, which we didn't realize. See, I told her. See, we were sitting at the table, right? I got the God of my my son's account. My account, I got two accounts and now my wife's account. We ain't hit nothing. My son's account hit on the Flints. My daughter says, she says, I never hit anything. She just wants to have something show up on her phone. And she's always like, I never hit. I don't even know why you tell me to do this. I never actually win anything. And then she was like, it said it said purchase for like one split second, and then it said sold out. And I was like, are you sure it said purchase? She says, I swear it said purchase. And my wife was like, I looked at her phone. It said purchase for like really one second. And I was like, if it said purchase on sneakers, I know sneakers. If it said purchase even for a millisecond, I said, we got them. I said, we got them. They don't mess up. They never mess up and say you accidentally purchased. I said, if it, if it said purchase, you got them. And she was like, I don't think so. And then um, it wasn't later until, I think, maybe an hour later, uh, we got the email, confirmation email. That's how I updated the video and say that we got them. So that's how uh, that whole thing went down with um, the sneakers app last week. So we ended up getting two off of sneakers. Out of six accounts, we got two pairs of flints. Um, still waiting on one. It says it doesn't come in until... I think I think the 26, which makes no sense. But the other pair came in two days ago. So here's the uh, here's one pair of my tens from sneakers. I did a little photo. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead. Follow me on Twitter. Look me up. I'm Beastly Garage on Twitter. I post some pretty good pics. I think anyway. Post some pretty good photos. Put a pretty good photo up there this afternoon. It's doing all right. I think Sneaker Twitter shared it. It looks pretty good. It's on the pool. And uh, this is my first time, not today technically, but these are my first flints I ever held in my hand, ever, ever. I never had a pair of flints. I always like, they actually match this hat, and this is actually by accident. I swear to God, my favorite hat from Vineyard Vines, and these match damn near, damn near, is that it? Yo, 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 I swear to God, I did not, I don't swear to God like that, but. 
I did not do this on purpose, but these actually match. So my favorite hat actually matched my probably soon to be one of my favorite shoes because I'm going to wear these immediately, which is why I doubled up because I don't want to have to worry about, um, you know, dogging these out. Uh, I really like these bad boys. I, I don't know what this material is here. Is this the same material that's on the – I got to pull out my He Got Games. This is the, it don't feel like suede. It's really soft, but it don't feel like suede. It feel like some fake material, but it's 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 interesting. This quilted thing, of course, my wife and my daughter said that these are hideous. Um, my son, he's not really into sneakers, but he gave it a eh, you know that eh. I wear them if you give them to me, Dad, but I don't care. Uh, but uh, yeah, these these are right. I like them. Thirteens um, are one of my favorite um, Jordans. I think they're the most rugged and well, I don't know what these materials, but with the with my oh okay, it is the same material as the He Got Games. Yeah, okay. So with the He Got Games, these are my these these are my boots, my sneaker boots. Um I wear them in bad weather, rain, anytime it's cold when it's cold out and I want to wear sneakers like to, to the fields, soccer fields and stuff like this. I put these on, they're easy to clean. And they just warm. They warm, soft, and very comfortable. 13s are super comfortable. And uh, so I'm going to definitely rock these a lot. Blue, this colorway is so wearable. Um, yeah, so first time I ever had flints. I, I remember when they came out in 98. Your boy was of age. So, you know, I, I, I knew when these came out. And I liked them. Um, just didn't buy them. Uh, you know, didn't have that the excess money to go out and buy Jordans. So I didn't really buy any Jordans. I was, I was an Air Force One guy. Back then, Air Force Ones, pretty much all I, 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 I wore back then, and some little off the wall shoes here and there, but and Tim's, Tim's, and Tim's and Air Force Ones. But yeah, uh, so these are these are pretty dope. I, I really like them. I, so I am going to be wearing those uh, a lot this year with some shorts. And you know how I do. I don't really do long socks, so I have probably have some no show socks on. Um, Rocking these bad boys, and I did hit on a grade school pair. And size ten is my ten. Size ten is what I wear in these. I'm, I'm a ten and ten and a half on certain shoes. I like my Jordan ones in a ten and a half. Um, I like to put my shoe shields in them. For these, I don't even know if I'm going to use the shoe shields, but I probably will put the shoe shields in them. I've been, I just, I just been wearing them in all my sneakers lately, except for, except for like my Chucks, of course, and. My uh, like 720s, not 720, my 270 Nikes, any like uh, trainer shoes. I don't put shoe shields in, of course, but like all my Jordans, I, I tend to. And I don't feel as though I need a t size 10 and a half in these. I can still get away with a size 10. And they feel nice and snug and comfortable. And let's see, throw these bad boys back in here. And and I got a size six, six and a half, strictly for resale, I think. I don't even know. I haven't checked the prices since this. I haven't checked the prices this week on the size six. I don't know. Somebody can't check the price on me. <laughs> size six and a half. What are they going for on StockX right now? What was the last sale? Is it? Is it? What are these cost? 140? Anything over 180, I'm happy. They're over 180, make a few bucks. I bought two pairs of these flints to keep, so I got to make some money back. That's $380 on sneakers. I said that kind of loud. I got to shut up. I'm getting a little too loud in here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they actually look better in a smaller size. They, 13s are bulky looking. I get that. You know, as Rich, Mike Rich would say, they kind of like ant, ant, what do you call them? Ant bed stompers, stompers, some shit like that. Anyway, yeah, these these look good. They look good in this size. Like, this is my daughter's size. I asked her, I said, would you, I said, you want them? And she don't even realize. She got a sneaker head dad. If she says, Dad, I really want those. I like those. I run straight over the garage. I'd probably get these to her. I got be like, here, you can have them. I mean, you can work them all through the summer or something. But she got a job now, so she can actually pay for these. But eh, I, I like them in this size. I really do. I think they're. This got a flaw on them. Oh no, that's that's glue. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Now these these actually look good in a smaller size. So if you got smaller feet, probably another reason why I, I would go with a 10 and these, because they're already a bulkier shoe. If you could fit a smaller size, definitely go with the smaller size you can comfortably fit. 
in a 13 because they just they some big ass shoes. They ain't gonna lie, they some big ass shoes. And the funny thing is that like last year, before we get, we knew these were coming out, I would always cruise like eBay. Not I wasn't cruising stock X because these were still high on stock X. I think they were like four, four fifty, something like that. But I would cruise eBay and try to look for like used fare, like I did my um my cement fours and oh I'll pull these back out. And I don't know if y'all know, but when you wear these after a while, the used pair just looks horrible. Like something about the back gets like all wait, I'm trying to say all wrinkled and, and like squished. Like people, like it just loses all support. Like this whole section just loses all support, and it just looks like a mess. Um, so that's why I'm also doubling up because I, once it starts to look like that, it might be time to just go ahead and sell the shoe as a used pair and then pull out the uh, the fresh new one. But uh, now I see from the back, it actually, I think a lot of that is contributed to the, uh, or attributed to the, um, to the size, the way it's all like crinkly here. It's, it's, it's more on the bigger size, but yeah. That's the only part I don't like about the flint is how it looks after you wear it. It's just, it gets like really wrinkly back there. But other than that, these are dope. These are dope colorway. Definitely a dope shoe. Never understood why they were so hyped back then. I, I, I know they're nice, but I just didn't understand what made these take off like they did. Because the colorway is, I mean, it, that is a, it's like, it's kind of like a UNC, I guess, with the Carolina Blue Jumpman, but this is dark blue. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if this was like a light Carolina Blue, would this have even been even better? But I don't know. I kind of like it the way it is. I, I like to shoot the way it is. Definitely a dope shoe. I happened to bring out all my 13s, which isn't a lot. I only had two 13s prior to receiving these bad boys. And let me see. Whew, it is warm in this bad boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, um. So let me pull my uh, laptop a little closer so I don't got to get out of frame. To read you guys' messages. Uh, uh, let's see. You hit on Hibbit, picked up same day, went for oh, the, there's a Oh shit, hold on. We got a bug. What the fuck is that? That's a fly. Uh, uh, all right. I missed. <laughs> um let's see you hit on Hibbit, picked up same day. 305 in person. All right. Then you did good. You got 305 in person. That ain't bad at all. I think if they went for as high as what, 320, 340, something like that. So not bad at all. I think it'll take a while before they get back up to 300. At least, well, I think everything's going to start to go up. You know, when we start to get that spike, it's going to be right before Christmas, not, not Christmas, right before school. You know, like last year, all the prices started going up. I think a lot of it was contributed to school, um, you know, back to school. But I think there was also rumors of some, like, major, like, uh, place or in Chinese. I, he I heard it was some Chinese um, reseller was buying up a whole bunch of the hype shoes. If y'all remember, like, around August, all shoes shot up. Um, this is probably around the time that I, I got rid, rid of my uh, Travis Scott uh, Air Force Ones, <laughs> but yeah. So that's that's when I think the prices might go up on all shoes, um, but we never know because this year is 2020, and 2020 is not like any other year we've ever had. It said, Melody, what is up? She says she hit on Champs App Size 8 GS uh, 7 inhibits. First time adding to the collection as well. Yes. A lot of first timers, I think. How many of you guys are first time Flint owners? Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of first timers. I'm surprised that a lot of people even like this shoe because like I said, in this house, we had mixed reviews. Uh, I'm the only one to love it. Most of the people hate it. And one person was on the fence. Basically, if I give it to him for free, he'd probably wear it sometimes. But uh, Melody, I told you we'd get a pair and I told you. Told you, just a delayed W. Uh, but they weren't hard. They were hard. It kind of reminded me of the UNCs. Remember the UNC uh, threes? Everyone slept on them, and then they thought it was going to be a cakewalk. And we were all sitting there like, 
I ain't get my pair. Like, they're going. Like, oh, shit, my pair. I thought they were saying that. I don't even know. They're going. They're like, why did them UNC3 sell out? They only look just like the freaking, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the player one? What do you call the damn shoes? <laughs> it's that, yeah, I'm a 10, Zach. Uh, I hit a pair through sneakers, another through champs. Um, you got both size 10.5. Hey, yo, um, 10.5. That reminds me. Swelled up. Did you get your, uh, did you get your pair? We're trying to get a pair from my boy swelled up earlier this week. He didn't hit on, well, he couldn't, he was working and he couldn't get, go for his size 10 and a half. Uh, let me know if you got your pair, man. I tried to put out an SOS for a size 10 and a half for them. Uh, they're perfect, just not for me. The pick you took of those in front of the pool is dope. Thank you, my man. I was like, ooh, I just opened the pool. <laughs> let me take a pool pick. Figure the colors will look nice to get there. Uh, let's see. Got Air, got Air Force One Supreme white size ten. They are long. Yo, um, Zach, the Air Force anybody Air Force One Supreme, the one with the little ass Supreme, is a great long hold. That is an awesome long hold. Um, when they first released, I tried to get me a pair. I was like, I'm surprised that these aren't as hype as they are. It's a shoe that has Supreme on it, and it ain't gaudy. I mean, win win, right? And people love Air Force Ones. People buy Air Force Ones like they do white socks. They don't go out of style. So, what's better than a regular Air Force One? One with a little bit of Supreme thing on it. Like, that's perfect. And when they all dry up, they're going to be like through the roof. So, yeah, I, that's one of the things I do is I actually, damn, did I stop? Wait up. My, my thing is frozen. I'm going to stop talking here for a second because I don't want to be talking for nothing. Well, let me just see. Video is lagging. Jesus. All right, guys. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, darn. Okay. Hold on, guys. We don't have any power. We don't have any power. All right. Let's see. We, uh, we got a power situation here. Power. Oh, we losing everything. We are losing power, guys. I will not be denied. I will not be denied. Hold on, are we losing lights? I don't know what is going on. All right, we are experiencing technical di difficulties, my guy. Can y'all still hear me? They say frame is frozen. Small. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you can still hear me, say what's up. Or I might have to stop the live and then try to uh, restart the live. Video's good now. All right, it's just frozen on my screen. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get it back up. Yeah, I lost everything. Like, my, my power pack is overheating. My lights went out. All right, guys, bear with me for one second. Let's see if we can fix this. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. I hope my light didn't go. This is my nice little Amazon light. Can we get some power back? All right, cool. We got power back. <sighs> How's that? How's that? How's that? How we, how we doing? How we doing? Sound and video good now. All right. All right. All right. Where was I at? Damn it. Damn it. I knew I was going to, I was going to lose my spot. What I was talking about? What was I talking about? <laughs> Damn it. All right, guys. What was I talking about just now? Um, 
this thing even right here? <sighs> all right, that done threw me off. That whole thing, dude, that thing was really. I got plugs back there getting all hot. How's that little light getting hot? I mean, it's crazy. Uh, the sound in the video is good now. Video is delayed compared to the sound. Let me check this out real quick. Hey, if y'all here, can you just hit that like button for me? Maybe that'll fix the sound. I'm just playing. All right. I think it'll get better. I think my phone was not plugged in, and it said I was really low. And I'm trying not to have to start the live over. This has been a be once and done, you know. Supreme Air Force once. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Thanks, man. My man Zach coming through. All right. Are we good? I, can I keep on going? Can I keep on going? Supreme Air Force ones. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going. If, if it's not working, let me know. But uh, yeah. So as I was saying, Supreme Air Force ones when they first came out, I thought they were a good hold. Um, I haven't grabbed me a pair, but I'm always checking eBay to see if anyone's selling any cheap. Um, and they're not, but I think I'm going to regret not grabbing them even for resale right now because I think the prices will go have nowhere else to go but up. Easy hold. So if you got a pair, definitely hold them. If you got multiple pairs, I think it's good money. Uh, size 10, I'll hold, but if you want them, uh, no, nah, do hold them, hold them for yourself, hold them. I'm gonna, I'll still check out and see if I can get a, a pair. Even though, yeah, I, I don't like buying after, it's, once it's been too long, it's kind of risky buying from anyone that you don't know because by this time, you know, the factories already started producing the China factories, you know, which I'm not going to talk about because they're going to actually hook me up with something. So <laughs> uh, they're not restocking. They did restock a, a few times, a few times. Um, but yeah, I think now, I haven't seen any restocks in a while. So they're probably done. And if you got a pair, I, su I suggest you keep your pair. What do I got here? I, I, don't know, oh, I bought out some, some 13s. I was like, let me just bring out all my 13s. And I got two pairs of 13s. Anybody still got these DS? Like, I want to wear them, but I don't know when to wear them. Like, this is a shoe I don't know if I even should have bought. But I, I like them, but I don't know if I... I don't know when to wear them. I should just, just freaking wear them just tomorrow. Just throw them on. For no reason. That and this matchy, matchy shirt. <laughs> that I threw in the box. I miss, I'm miss. i missing my rewards, my $20 coupons from, from uh, Foot Locker and stuff. Because this was a $20 coupon shirt. Like, I got so many freaking T-shirts. I got a T-shirt drawer that has, I, I never counted them, but it's stuffed. It, it is complete. I can't fit another shirt in there of all my free shirts that I got from, like, uh, Foot Locker Champs and, and Foot Action. And yeah, I paid less than that. I think I paid 80-something, 80 80-something 80 or 90 but I definitely paid under a hundred bucks for them because I went doing that thirty percent off time and, and grabbed them. But uh, yeah, these are dope. And I, I I grabbed the best pair that I had that they had there. I mean, I went through a bunch, and it it doesn't have any bleeding whatsoever. It's funny how these went from worth nothing to worth a whole lot to worth nothing. It was, it was funny, like they went from people were pre-selling them for like. Not much, and then they found out they were going to get canceled, and then they the, the prices skyrocketed, and then they went to the outlets, and the prices dropped. <laughs> it was it was like a real roller coaster. These draws, but I'm I'm gonna rock them soon. I don't care. I'm just gonna throw them on foot. I'm gonna start undiesing shoes, uh, just to get them undiesed. So. All right, how long have we been on this thing? I had so many difficulties that it has probably been in and out. Um, so for all you guys that are here watching it right now, you are the lucky ones because 
what's been happening with my live videos is that the moment I'm done with this video, it's going to start processing. And then it is not going to finish processing until sometime tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. And that's when actually it'll go out to everyone else who didn't click right now. So uh, unless you actually go and try to search for this video, which most people will not search for a video they don't know exists, uh, you're not going to even know this video is up. I've been having this issue with um, my YouTube, and they supposedly fixed it two videos ago, and they haven't. So, uh, yeah. So if you're here right now, you're lucky because you're not going to be able to see this video until tomorrow otherwise. Yeah, my lives are, are they screw me on my lives. And by the time my lives go up, it's not even relevant anymore most times. So I got to be aware of that these days. Uh, what do you think about the Island Green Jordan 13? Uh, I think, I think they're okay. I want to, let me Google them real quick. Let me Google them. Hey, no, hold on. Let me grab another phone. What shoes are you guys looking forward to? Sign me up for the giveaway. What giveaway? <laughs> Sign me up too. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. I was thinking about doing an impromptu giveaway. I should do a giveaway. I feel like, I think, thank you, Zach, for, for bringing that up. I think I will do a, a giveaway. Because you know what? I talked about doing a giveaway probably months ago. I even got stuff that I put up for a giveaway that I never did. So I think I will do a giveaway. I just don't know how to do it. Last time I did it is you just had to say a phrase in one of my videos. And then I just drew your name out of a hat. And then the, the, the second time after that, um, it was just me choosing whoever I want. And I, I said I was choosing based off of people I see that are interactive, that comment regularly on my videos and just part of, that are part of the Beastie Garage family. And I said, yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bit of favoritism giveaway. So it was me, you know, rewarding the people that I saw. So uh, I like it like that too, because that way people just don't swing in just for a giveaway and get, get some free stuff and bounce on out and then they never be a part of us again. So I like to give stuff to the people that are here. You know, the people's names that I see regularly showing up on there. Yeah, so it ain't fair. No, it ain't fair. It's fair to those that, that are here. So you ain't here, you don't get nothing. <laughs> That's the way I kind of do it. Look, like the person that gave me a dislike, he's the person that just bounced in here and, and he's mad because he ain't getting the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh let's see uh kobe's yeah i want i want some of those but i'm not a kobe i'm not a kobe sneaker fan i never was uh of course a kobe fan so i would just get the potros just for the collections the only shoe that i intend to not wear or do anything with just than just to have in the collection um yeah we talked about those before but they're going to be a hard cop. I'm um, looking forward to seeing the Jordan 11 breads. Yeah, me too. I like I like them. When they first came out, people were knocking them bad boys. And I don't see why. I think the only thing I don't like, and it's probably what most people don't like, is the fact that the upper on those uh, Jordan 11 lows is is uh, leather. I mean, if it would have been like the, the, the um, what is that, like a mesh, mesh material? It'd have been a no-brainer, but it still seems like a perfect, it's a perfect summer shoe. Perfect low top um, summer shoe. I actually I like those, but if I get a pair, I think I'm gonna go with the blue ones. The uh, I don't even know what the name of those are, but whatever the blue is, the blue and white ones I kind of like a little bit more. I just find blue and white to be a lot more wearable these days for me. I got so many black and red stuff. I know last year I was black and red out. I felt like every time I got dressed, my wife was not saying it, but I could feel it. I could feel it when she was looking at me like, if this boy don't bring out another darn black and red or white, black and something themed outfit. <laughs> like, I was getting self-conscious. So now I think this summer is going to be a lot of blue, blue going on. But uh, yeah, I really, I like the lows. I think they're a dope show. Um, and if I cop them, it will be the blue ones. But I don't know. We'll see if how things go. It's just a lot of money being spent. And I can't recoup my funds because I can't resell any shoes because I just can't pick up extra pairs. Although that might change. Thank you, Zach, for the uh for the donation. That is my second, second <laughs> ever uh 
I guess what's it called? Super chat donation? Don't know, whatever. But uh thank you very much, buddy. Uh, appreciate it. Uh It says twenty dollars. Time is money. Someone give forty. Wait, I think I froze up again. I hope my computer hit, I think didn't die on me. Let's see. Let's make sure we're still plugged up here. Uh, 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 uh let's see. Right, we're doing much better over there. Video frozen. Screen frozen again, fam. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Can you hear me, or is it just, is it everything? I honestly meant to give 20 hot technology. I appreciate you, man. Let's see. Is it frozen? Sounds good. Visuals frozen. I can hear you. Just frozen. We can hear. You. Okay. 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 Let's figure this out. <laughs> Let's figure this out. What is going on? All right. It is telling me I got a low battery again. I don't know why. I'm having issues here. All right. Stay with me, guys. We're gonna end this. If if we do end it, I'll start a new one up. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. I want to talk about morals reopening. So if if I forget to say what I'm gonna talk about. Let's we'll talk about Mars reopening. Hold up. I think it's got to do with my phone. Is uh, Normally I don't have these issues with this, but today I'm, I'm having issues. Uh, let's see. All right. I think it's not frozen anymore, right? We can hear you. I'm looking at my computer here. It looks like I'm good, right? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Whew, it's getting warm. It's all right, though. I need to lose a little bit of weight. It's like a sign in here, I'm trying to get rid of this uh, quarantine weight. Anybody else? Y'all feel a little, little, little extra hefty after these few months? It's funny. And I don't go to the gym to work out. I work out in the basement. I have a whole setup there. But I have, I still, like, when I'm quarantined, I just didn't want to go downstairs and be in the basement and work out. It's, it's weird. Like, I have no excuse. Like a lot of people say they couldn't go to the gym. I have no excuse, but I, my workouts like pretty much stopped during quarantine. It's weird. All right. So uh, let's see. Doug, you might, okay. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Visuals frozen. Work. Are we good? So we're good. We're good. So yeah, malls opening up. I think they're going to, whoa, that's what I'm talking about. What's up, my man? Thank you, Zach, for giving the 20, uh, the dub. I love it. Thank you, man. You are the highest donor ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, you know what? For that, that's how I like to do. Send me your, uh, send me your information, and I'll send you something. I'm gonna send you something. I ain't gonna tell you what I'm gonna send you, but I'm gonna send you something. This, uh, send me your address in Instagram. So beastly underscore GT, or I think it's Beastly Garage. I, I, I use both, but no, just send it to Beastly underscore GT. Send me your, uh, your address, and I got something for you in the mail. It might be in a week or two, but it's, it's coming. Believe me. All right. Uh, and, but I appreciate that, bro. But I uh, wanted to ask you guys how y'all malls looking, because uh, today for Pennsylvania, I am right next to Philly. Um, like 45 minutes outside of Philly. You know, Philly's been crazy all week. Uh, my cousin actually is a pastor in Philly, and he led, like, the most beautiful um, protest march this week. And uh, it's made, like, all the news and stuff. So you got to – I give you his information and stuff. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. And he was one of the, the highlights of this whole week. Uh, but, yeah, not going into too much into that, but he – he, uh, but our stores are starting to open up. I don't know about Philly in particular, but most of the places I shop are outside of Philly, like King of Pressure, if you're familiar with the area. The Reading PA area has a few malls, and then Lehigh Valley has a few malls. I think, I think some stores might be opening up soon. I think this, 
I think just over last night at 12 a.m., we went from like red to yellow. And that, that means that we can open up limited stores or something. I don't know. That's Pennsylvania, every state has its own thing. It's like in Atlanta, their their malls are already open. It's like, but here it, it's 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 crazy. Um, but I really can't wait for stores to start opening up and we can start getting out just to get out the house and get back to the norm. Start copping shoes like I did normally. Yeah, it's uh, it's you know, it's frustrating. And then I'm stuck in the house, and wife keeps making me fix things and upgrade things because I'm here. I can't just hang out and hide unless I do a live in the garage, you know, without her knowing. Am I still moving here? I got a feeling like my my screen says I'm frozen. All right, let's make sure. This live has so many technical difficulties. But yeah, hit me up, dude, and I got you. And we're streaming for 56 minutes. Okay, so we don't want to go over an hour, so I'm going to end this in four minutes. Four minutes. So if there any other shoe you guys want to talk about before I end this, uh, you answer my questions, I'll be around you. Appreciate you, man. Um, sneak attacks, malls in Dallas are open and back up. Pick up the flints at Hibbert and Finish Line inside mall last week. There was a good size crowd. Are, you, are, they like, are they like lined up? Like, how's that work? Are they letting like one person in at a time? Are you like able to go in the store like normal or, or what? How's that, how's that working right now for like pickups? I wonder how it's going to be when, uh, when they start opening it up here. Like, but I, I kind of missed the missed the days of, of hopping in the car on a Saturday morning and telling you guys, oh, we're gonna go to this mall, then we're gonna hop over to that mall, and I, you know, the, the mall vlogs were kind of fun. But uh, yeah, I just wonder if everything's gonna change now. <sighs> Ten people at a time out here. Okay, so so all right, that mean that ain't bad. As long as you can get your sneakers now. This, now, actually getting the sneakers on like foot action and foot locker and stuff is, is still BS because I actually put in for the, the flints, I put in um, head starts and everything on all three apps. I bought all the head starts since all of you guys now should have some points. I mean, just the flex app thing hasn't been working in so long. If you've caught any type of shoe on there in the last few months, you've got enough points to buy head starts. And I've been, so I've decided to just use a bunch of points on head starts to see what happens. And I put in for stores that aren't even near me. I put in for stores, the only stores that were near me, well, not near me, but that, that what they will allow me to put in for were in D.C. And D.C. is about, well, this area of D.C. is two and a half hours away from me. And I was like, eh, if I got nothing to do, which I don't these days on a Saturday, I was like, I got nothing to do. I think it's two and a half, drive, two and a half hour drive down to this store, pick up the Flint same day so I could do a review, make a whole vlog out of it like I did in old days. But uh, surprisingly, I didn't hit on any of them, all three apps. I, I took L's. And I got a feeling a lot of people took L's. I know they probably, there's probably limited stores, so a lot of people were going for a certain amount of stores. So I don't know. I never did do that um, that focus group that Foot Locker was inquiring about. Like they did s select me, but I didn't do it. I just didn't have time um, for the, the schedule that they sent out. All right, Melody, my nearest mall has uh, partially opened, but the foot store is only allowing 10 to 15 people at a time. Almost everybody was wearing masks, so it was cool. All right, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and you know what? I didn't really stay at the malls anyway. Uh, I was in and out. <laughs> I pretty much was in the store, grabbed the shoes, and out, you know, in less than a half hour in most, most cases. So, you know, your chances of being exposed to the virus were usually pretty... Uh, you know, low, so it really wasn't a big deal for me, and it won't be in the future. I will still just get in and get out. It's not like we're not going to supermarkets right now anyway to buy food, and I don't know. I'm at Lowe's all the damn time, and some people just don't even don't care about social distancing at all. I mean, I'll be turning around at people and looking at them in line like, dude, do you even know how long six feet is? And not and most of the time, it's not dudes. I'm being... It's females. Females be close. I, and it's like older females. They be, I mean, like, yo, 
Give it a nut. Yo, back up. Six feet. Step it out. Walk it out. Six feet. <laughs> you looking forward to Jordan one tie eyes later this month? Uh, yeah, I think they're nice. Uh, will I grab them? I don't know. I, I like them, but I think the, the toe box needs to be white. <laughs> I, I like it better with the Chicago co color blocking. Um, and it'd be perfect. So if I got those shoes, I would paint the toe box white. Even though the tongue is black, the tongue should be white too. I don't know if I would do all that, but I would probably paint the toe. I think they're going to be limited though, just because, um, well, it's, it's going to be a women's release. They only go into 12, which perfect for me. It's a 10 and a half. But it sucks for me, too, because when a shoe is a women's release that men go after um, and it only goes to 12, that's my size. That means all men are going to be going for the larger sizes. And that means that anyone that wears an 11 is going to be going for the women's 12 and squeeze, trying to squeeze their foot into it. So it's just a lot more competition. And it's going to be really almost impossible for me to even grab my size uh, women's 12 or men's 10 and a half. So, uh, yeah, unless I go, I, I would probably, if I did go after, I would go after the uh, the women's 11 and a half, which is the men's 10, and hope that, you know, I got a better shot at grabbing those. Uh, but I think they're nice. Um, I would wear them. Again, I would paint the toe box white. <laughs> and, yeah, they are. Right. The other shoe I'm looking forward to, to this year. I don't even know what else I'm looking forward to, if anything. Um, well, I ain't talking about this year because I really don't even know everything that's coming out this year, but I just know immediately I'm looking forward to the, the sixes, the, the hair sixes. And oh, and the donks. I like to get those red and white donks. I think they look pretty dope. It's funny how I'm all of a sudden a dunk fan. I guess like most people, we're all dunkers now, but the, the red and white ones are nice, but the best color out of that pack of this pack here is these orange and is that orange and black or orange and blue i hope it's orange and black but the orange and black ones i hope they're orange and black i really like them they're nice they're nice i like those uh actually a little bit i like them more i like i like them in that order that they're in i like the orange and black red and white and then the green and yellow but uh Again, I'm probably not going to touch them because they're all hard to get. I haven't hit on any dunks. I haven't hit on any dunks. I hit on no. I hit on the the uh, the supreme dunks. I got the purple and blue one. No, the the ram. <laughs> what color? Which ones did I get? I got the yellow and what were they? Gold. Oh, gold and blue. Gold and blue. I got the gold and blue supreme dunks. And what other dunks that I hit on sneakers? Damn, on sneakers. What did I hit? Dunks, dunks, dunks. That might have been it. That might be the only dunks I ever hit on sneakers. I think that's it. I think that's it. I haven't went for a lot of dunks, but I think those are the only dunks. Yeah, those are the only dunks. I went for like the, the off-white ones and stuff, but I didn't get those, of course. Um, any thoughts on Jordan 3 Animal Instinct? Yeah, they're better than the first ones that came out. I bought like... <laughs> those are the, the first ones I thought were going to be limited and... Your boy played himself. Like I, I played myself on those because when they came out, I immediately tried on three or four. I tried on like three or four phones, and um, to get them, I just wanted one pair. But I thought they were going to be limited, and they weren't. And I end up hitting on all three or four phones, <laughs> and they were like bricks. So, um, but I did something cool because um, I did two day delivery on like two of them, and. I sold them on StockX, <laughs> like right then. So it was one of those moments where I hope my shoes come on time because I already sold them. But I said I wasn't getting stuck with those shoes. Well, I would have took them back or took, took them to the outlet at the time. But um, I ended up selling two, and I actually made money. I actually made, I was surprised. I made a few bucks off of them because the day of, actually not even just the day of, like immediately after, they for some reason they were reselling for a little bit, like a couple hours. So uh, and then it just tanked. So luckily I got rid of two for resale. And then um, I think I took two back. Or I sold one. Then no, I sold a third one for like a $10 profit. And then I took the last one back to, um, to Nike. So I actually made a few bucks off of it. They look, but the new ones coming out, they look a lot better, but I don't want them. 
I, I've I've got a sour taste in my mouth with when it comes to those animal things now. And just my luck, they will probably be the ones that everyone wants. But I don't want it. I don't care. Um, don't really like them. And they're, and they're high too. Two fifty. That's just too much. I thought that the other ones were two. Were they two fifty or two twenty five? But either way, over two hundred. That's way too much. They can keep them. And you know, it'd be those weird shoes like that that you look back and then like five years from now ends up being worth like 800 bucks or something crazy. Like it's always those weird, ugly ass shoes. And you'd be like, damn, I had two pair, I had three pair. I sent mine back to the Nike. I, I took mine to the outlets. And you'd be like, like when people tell me the stories about the band ones were in the outlets, like I'd just be like, how is that possible? Where was I at? What year was that? That was like 15, 2015. The band ones are in the outlets. Damn, that's crazy. I go to I should go to all the sneakerheads that were around back then and say, y'all crazy. Y'all let them things in the outlets, y'all fools. Uh all right. And say my local mall was open earlier this week for only one day because the same night it got looted. Damn. And now it's closed till next week. Yeah. All right. I saw some. Have y'all, y'all, I, I ain't gonna lie. This week I was working while working, I had my laptop up, and I have been somewhat obsessed with these looting videos. And I was like, oh my god, man, they they looting like crazy. And I've never seen looting like this in my life. Like, I never really watched looting, period. And to watch people loot and they have like little disregard, like these looters. They like, for some reason, they just, I don't know. I see, I don't play a lot of, I don't play a ton of video games, but I know like in certain video games, you can put yourself in ghost mode. Do they think that they put themselves in ghost mode? <laughs> because it's in broad daylight and they be having like, like major news stations right there at the door and just walking out like with stuff. Like, I'm in ghost mode. I don't care. And they get right in their car with their license plate showing. I'm like, like, really? Like, really? Like, like, they don't even care. Like, they're not even, like, smart criminals. I mean, I, I guess the whole stealing thing is kind of stupid anyway, but but it's just, it just blows my mind. Like, I've seen so many videos of, like, people, like, doing crazy things. And, um, and yeah, it was just not very smart. Not very smart. I, but I was I was obsessed with it this week. It was just, it was just a, a, a bad week all the way around. Uh, except for the, the uplifting moment, like I said earlier, with uh, with my cousin and the uh, protest he led. Uh, it was really cool in Philadelphia. If you're in Philly, you probably know about the march. Uh, it was a peace march he did through Fishtown. Fishtown was one of the places that came out and had, a, he had somewhat of a vigilante group come out and say that they, they weren't going to have it. And they had to hold bats and things. And he he had to go and bring a few thousand people through there to let them know that, look, we're, we're all about peace here. We have a movement. We're not trying to hurt nobody. We're not trying to cause no damage to nobody. No need for you to threaten us. And uh, we're just all just trying to survive. We just want the same rights that everyone else had. But, but uh, yeah, those looting videos are crazy. If you want to watch a good looting video, watch this guy. His name is... Um, uh, he's a pretty big YouTuber. I think he usually does like car stuff, like car spotting in LA. And it was like the F, I forget his name. I forget his name. I thought I was gonna try to remember it and I can't remember it because it just didn't really matter. But his, he had like two videos. They were both like really long. And he was like in the trenches, like in there. And I was just like, wow. I mean, this, the, the footage is just crazy. <laughs> the footage is crazy. I see some pretty crazy things. I, have, I also put something up on um, Twitter. I saw a video of this guy looting and he ran into the store and it was nighttime. It must've been like a Nike or something. And everyone's running out. And he was running at full speed after he grabbed his package or whatever he grabbed. And he was running out the store. And this fool didn't realize that it was a window. And the opening was on the other side. And he ran full speed. Boop, right into the window. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So I clipped it and threw it on, uh, threw it on Twitter. But uh, yeah, that's just one of many things I saw this week that was very interesting. I saw some things that were troubling. But, you know, if you don't laugh, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to end up just completely depressed. And a lot of people can't take this stuff. You know, it hits them hard. So ah, I try to, you know, find humor in everything. So how are things in your area? I hope everything is good. 
and you and your family are all good too. Yeah, we're all good here. You know, our, our we're in the neighborhood. Nothing happens here. Well, knock on wood. Uh, we're pretty much in the middle of a farmland. It's like a community dropped in the middle of farmland. So you got to drive, you know, a few miles in any direction just to get to anything. So ain't nobody gonna come all the way up here. Let's just take a road trip to go loot. And honestly, I wouldn't want to loot up here because um, my neighbors all are gun enthusiasts. <laughs> and yeah, and actually it's the reason why I got a gun because I don't like being around people with guns and you don't have guns. So um, <laughs> your boy had to make sure that we're all on an even playing field out here. So, um, you know, if you got a gun, I want a gun too. That's how we go. You got two guns, I want two guns too. You got three, I want four. So that's how we are. So up here, you know, and we're all good. We all, we all get along, but uh, at any given day on the weekend, you can hear um, people shooting because a lot of these people have, you know, woods back to the houses. So, and we can shoot here in Pennsylvania. So yeah, you hear people, you know, busting them off. So yeah, it's not the area you probably want to come loot at. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I feel for people that are that are in the midst of it right now and, and, and everything that's going on. Of course, my, my heart is with the people that really are, are you know, doing the right things with this movement. You know, I, I'm with them 100%. I am them. You know, I have a 20-year-old black boy, uh, and I'm worried about him because he is going to be going out into the world soon. And, you know, it's it's scary for us here. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead. Good time to end this video. I'm going to go. Oh, it is. Oh, it's 10.35. Go find something on Hulu, Netflix. I don't know what's good these days. I keep, I think I watch everything on TV. Everything. I think everything. At this point, I'm scrolling through documentaries. I'm looking for foreign stuff. They got me watching movies that got that, that got voiceovers, man. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. But uh, if I find anything good, I'm gonna put it in the next chat. Maybe next chat we we'll do something like we'll talk about the best shows to watch right now on Netflix, Hulu, and what's the other thing? Amazon Prime because your boy got it all. I gotta get everything so that's, so I can have everything to watch. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll go actually play a video game. I don't know. All right, guys, stay safe, uh, stay blessed, and good luck copying anything. I don't think anything comes out this week, so you can sleep in. Sleep in this weekend. Enjoy it. All right, guys, uh, see you next time. Thanks for everyone who joined. If you didn't hit that like button, please smack that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you're just watching and you had nothing else to watch. And you're like, who is this guy? And what is this car? And what's, what the hell is he? Uh, it's a sneaker channel. Stick around. So that's it. I'm out of this joint. Thanks, guys. La-di-da, la-di-da. That's me trying to hit the end button. Mm.